Bro, I get the most random best content ever, bro. Hello and welcome to Up Church's YouTube page. Today we are starring Wild Bill's Uncle Brother, and his name is Lacquer Thinner Larry. All right, Lacquer Thinner Larry, say whatever it is you gotta fucking say because you got this wild hair up your ass and you're like, oh, I'm gonna be a YouTube star. Yay! <laughs> so maybe, maybe I can talk to you this way. I mean, yeah, maybe if you don't try to fuck my dick. <laughs> you can't block me on here. It don't matter if I block you or not, Lacquer Thin or Larry. I can't even kill your career. It hasn't even come alive yet. And you can't make me take the video down. Oh, yeah, well, you can't ride it, my red rubber. You can't smoke all right, dang, rubber. So the truth and the facts will still be here. The truth is that what? You don't love me anymore? So either way, and I don't care if you respond. No, no, you care. You care. You care a lot. You're watching this video right now. What up, sugar? What up, sugar? What up? You want a fucking piece of me, motherfucker? I seen you out there riding your little four wheelers, living your little life. Got a little dish and a little bitty spoon. It's all right to be little bitty. This guy needs a pussy and some titties. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think that's cool. Anyway. Anyway. So let's just talk about this little shirt situation first. The dog bite. You barely even give my dog bite. Well, no. Hold on. We're going to push that back. Ah. Uh, I was hoping you would go ahead and get to the juicy part where you knitted me a shirt with your Martha Stewart ass, and I told you I didn't fucking want it. <laughs> Bruh, you're a fucking adult and you have tattoos all over you. Why are you crying because you didn't get to give me a shirt? Just a little bit. We're going to talk about KDL. Hell yeah, I'm so glad we're getting to talk about something that happened like two or three years ago that I fucking put all over Facebook that everyone else always seen. Yes! This is what I'm talking about! Bro, you should really like look into fucking, you know what I'm saying, going to Cali and being a fucking director, bro. I mean, this is some Steven Spielberg shit right now, bro. Curveball like a motherfucker. You remember KDL where you started a riot? Yes! But yet and still you wanted all the fans to be safe? Yes! But you lied to them and didn't come back on the stage. We started to ride. We put everybody in danger. Fuck yeah, some Motley Crue shit. We were all in danger after that. Uh, no. The real men were probably knocking people out. You were just probably like, oh my god, save me. Thanks for that, by the way. You're welcome, Lacquer Thinner Larry. And who was that guy? Who was that guy that gave you that video evidence that you needed? Shit, brother, I ain't no fucking telling who it was. I ain't got a fucking claim. I mean, I don't think it helped your ass out any because you still had to pay a whole bunch of money, didn't you? Shit, I don't know. Probably I don't fucking remember. Yeah, that had to hurt the pocketbook. <laughs> if I don't remember, it probably wasn't that bad. But that was me, yeah. That's right. Oh, sorry, guy. And I believe I still have the video where you sent me and you told me that all the time, VIP, just holla at your boy. You remember that? Hell yeah, the new Mortal Kombat just downloaded! Do I remember what? I forget what we were talking about. Probably not. Yeah, probably. You don't remember too much about the A1s that's been there from day one? Oh, I know all about the A1s from day one. But I also know about the lazies who are crazy. They want to hate me and post a video on YouTube to get paid, bitch. <laughs> But anyway. But anyway. But anyway. But anyway. You should be a fucking lawyer, bro. Hey, and your little nut riders are hitting me up, by the way, making threats. How you gonna sit here and call my fans nut riders when you're nut riding harder than the hardest nut rider that ever nut rode? <laughs> so, you know, all these people you're sending to do harm to me. Yeah, I hope you know I summoned a whole truckload full of little yellow minions to come to your house and sneak down your chimney. Because, I mean, I do got the screenshot if you want to hang me from a cedar tree. Now, now, Kerosene Larry or whatever the fuck we were calling you a minute ago. Now you're lying. Because I got the screenshot, too. I said I would fuck you up with a cedar branch. This one, to be exact. I even stained it and everything. Look. You see how sharp the end of it is? I made it like that on purpose. Just like I got the, just like I got the, just like I got the, got the, just like I got the, I got the screenshots of your brother threatening me. Oh, boo hoo, your life's so hard. My fucking 14 year old brother said so he's gonna beat you up. And he probably can beat you up. I got all that, so we're good. Hell yeah, bro, that'll totally hold up in the principal's office. But. Ain't it? I saved your ass at KDL. 
Damn, I never knew that, bro. Thank you from the bottom of my fart. And by the way, for y'all watching, an Upchurch VIP pretty much consists of walking into the show free. You don't get to get nowhere near the motherfucker. He still hides back there. <laughs> you see, what he's trying to say is when my security guard sees someone and they're like, hey, hey, where the fuck? Where's Is he running away? I have a tampon to give him a used one out of my vagina. Where is he? Yeah, you don't get to come in the back if you do stuff like that. I mean, I understand why you took a year off. I mean, there's a couple of venues you've pretty much shit on. Hang on, here it comes. You smell that? And it didn't hold up to your obligations. Correct. You pissed a bunch of people off in Kentucky who wanted to kill you. Still alive. So you probably <laughs> secluded yourself onto the ghost ranch and got all this protection around you, which... Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe he is an intergalactical shapeshifter. From a different dimension. Like Alex Jones said. Maybe that's why our church is always shitting on Alex Jones. Maybe he's covering up something. Hmm? Yeah. Who wants to help me put this conspiracy together? I don't blame you. I mean, you know, if I had a bunch of crazy motherfuckers after me too, I probably did the same thing. Well, duh. Why do you think I made this really sharp stick for? <laughs> to fight them all off. God. But anyways. I mean, yeah, maybe. No. Fuck it. Anyways. <clears throat> Moving along, let's talk about this shirt that you were so disrespected by. For one, it wasn't your brother's place or your farmhand's place to have to handle your business. I wouldn't have had to message a whole bunch of people if you knew how to respond to fans, but you fucking don't. Do you realize how crazy you sound right now? It's not your place to say that you don't like that shirt. It's not your place. It ain't anyone's place but yours, Ryan. Why are you breaking up with me? The only way you respond to people is either... A, on your Facebook page where you can get all your nut riders to help you bash someone. Or also because Facebook's a better place if you don't want everyone to have your number, with <laughs> dumbass. Or B, on Instagram. Also another place where you can communicate with people that's not your cell phone, dumbass. I mean, uh, excuse me, this is YouTube. Well, hooray for you. You half-ass know what the fuck you're doing. Like I said, I don't use this motherfucker. I don't live on here like you do. I'd rather go jack off in a corner. I'd rather go jack off in a corner. Woohoo! Parent of the year! I'm gonna go jack off in a corner. What the fuck? I've seen you out there riding your little four wheelers, living your little life. All right, so like, which one is it? Do I stay in the house all the time or do I ride four wheelers? Or do you just stalk me every fucking day? But either way, the shirt was a picture of your grandfather. Now, I had no way of knowing that that was the actual obituary picture because you don't respond to motherfuckers. Yeah, but then again, this goes back to the, like, not letting crazy people in the VIP section, you know what I'm saying? It goes back to that shit. Like, listen to this scenario. Hello, Love Church. I need to meet up with you. I need to give you this fucking shirt I made you. It's for your birthday. It's a picture of one of your dead relatives. I want you to have it. I don't want you to wear it. Yeah, take his VIP passes away. I don't know why. Maybe your ego's a little bit bigger than your fan base now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that. I think it was your Baphomet-looking-ass wife saying she was gonna fucking cast a spell on me. You crazy fuck. But that's cool. I don't give a fuck how big your ego is, how big your fan base is. Well, good, because I don't care how big the voodoo doll is of me, motherfucker. You know why? Because you're probably gonna pull the dick off of it and stick it in your mouth. I'm still gonna listen to your music. Yeah, all right. I'm still gonna suck your voodoo dick, motherfucker. <laughs> Just so you know. Why, thank you. And I hope that eats you up, but I'm only going to listen to it because it's free on YouTube. You see, we both win in that scenario because I put it on YouTube for free for people who can't afford it because I love them too. And secondly, I still get paid by the fucking internet government for the spin that you listen to my song for. So thank you and no thank you at the same fucking time. I wouldn't spend one, got one goddamn red cent on that. Well, good thing pennies ain't red. Just so we're clear on that. Yeah, motherfucker. I don't fucking like you, but I'm, I'm still gonna listen to your fucking music and give you even more Spotify spins. Hope you're fucking pissed about it. I'm extremely angry. Never have, actually. Never will. Hell yeah, foreskin. And as far as your fans hitting up other people, talk about you're gonna sue over this shirt while well, you can't. 
Yo, I'm not gonna sue you, you little fucking worm. Why in the fuck would I sue you for a shirt anyway? I wouldn't take that happiness away from you. Look in the fucking background of your video. You already fucking stapled the rest of your wardrobe to the goddamn wall. <laughs> you can't. The shirt was, that shirt, excuse me, the picture was sent to me through someone else. But here's, here's my problem with it. It was disrespectful. You did it in a disrespectful fashion. You could have hit me up yourself as a man. Yeah, but that's what you don't understand. I don't have to fucking hit you up. I don't fucking know you. And you sound like you need some mental help. Okay? I'm fucking, and your wife is over here talking about, I'm gonna fucking cast a spell on y'all. Dog, I don't think you understand. I don't have to do nothing you fucking say. Actually, I'm gonna piss you off. You know how? Ending this video right here, not even finishing it. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go make me some chocolate milk.